Hey, I'm Adam. And I'm Jay. And we're part of the Movie Preview Review Podcast, where we review movies based on only watching their previews. Yep, and today we're going to react, review, and then riff off of the brand new trailer for Jigsaw. Jigsaw! Uh, or, I guess it's Saw 8. 8? Yeah, why? 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 No, but like... Tis a silly question, sir. No, I know, understand, but it seems like they're trying to like... Yes. I don't know. We, we'll watch it. I don't, I don't know. Saw I just don't... Eight. Why can't it just be Saw 8? Well, because it's a new chapter in the story, I think. Because when we last... Le- I haven't really seen them. I'm kind of aware of what's going on. All the first seven movies... We don't like scary movies. movies. We read their premises on the YouTube... On, or on Wikipedia yeah. because we're too fraidy cats. We're very scared. <laughs> we're very yeah, afraid. We're, we're, we're very scared. Uh, but I know that the first seven movies were all kind of like a contained story. Sure. Uh, Jigsaw, he died. He needed a successor. And then like, like other movies took place in different chronological order than yeah. actually were shown. So I think it did a decent job of like, okay, the seven movies are like this, but now we have another one because we need franchises. Okay. So maybe the search is on for a new Jigsaw. I'm down. Jigsaw died in six, I believe. Yeah, uh, but then... S- that somebody took over his role. Yeah, the chick from movie. Becker. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Remember? I actually saw... I've seen a lot of the Saw movies. I like them. Oh. They're, I mean, you kind of have to go... I go like this a lot because, again, I'm a big Freddy cat, but yeah, they're fun. All right, well, let's see what new horrible ways they came up with torturing people to make them learn lessons. All right, here we go. Oh, man. It's just the audacity. Oh, no, no, no. We'll, we'll get to it. The best ones are. You want the mercy? Play by the rules. It's a good scream. Good scream face. Any identification on the victim? Here's a piece. But Jigsaw has been dead for 10 years. It's not him. Can't be. This was on the body. The truth will set you free. Help! Dude! I'm chasing a dead man. Just now. under the fingernails of our victim, it's John Kramer's the jigsaw killer. That's impossible. It's not creepy at all. Lasers? Yikes! Ha ha ha! Ha ha! I can't believe it. Who? I? Hmm. I would be very interested to see the the writer's room of the, okay, we need to come up with a brand new device that kind of dist- rips people apart or torches them somehow or some horrible, we gotta come up with a cool choice of like, here, three syringes full of you don't know what. Uh, Wolverine claw style. Yeah. Uh, one of them's got something or other, like, who? What's the process of coming up with that stuff? Because that's what that's what these movies are pretty much kind of all about. Sure, they're coming like, up with horrible ways of they're like traps tra- and whatnot. Yeah, tra- yes. Always my always been my issue with Saw. Always been my issue with the Saw movies, in that I don't know how one guy does all of this. Period. Oh, yeah. I'm like I don't know how this guy doesn't have like 
a workshop. Like, they're like, oh, he probably has, like, an apprentice who's training them. And I'm like, no, this guy needs, like, like a... A, a small army? Like, a full slew of interns. Like, a lot of people who are working for free. Because, like, let's be real. Like, this is a, there's a lot of expense goes into a lot of this stuff. Like, I mean, it looks rustic. But that's because yeah, they you, made it look rustic. You're talking about, like, an independently wealthy person. Yep. With an army of interns who who have a work who are willing to work for free and have a working knowledge of a lot of machinery oh, and lasers apparently. Those are like engineer those are engineering <laughs> students. Like they have degrees <laughs> in mechanical engineering. It's just I just really like the idea like at a job fair at MIT, just like a, a creepy little yeah. clown on a little bicycle being like, so well, what are your great, like, what's your biggest weakness? Like, what what would you say, like, interviewing kids? Being what are like, your career goals? Hey, come work for Jigsaw. Yeah. Hey, do you have a working knowledge of head lasers? Like, come on down. Do you like torturing people to try to teach them lessons? We give college credit. Ooh. Yeah, you just got to make sure, make sure that those people die and you get your full five credits. Hmm. I have a feeling that the new Jigsaw may be one Kevin McAllister. As he has grown up now, and would be of the proper age of someone like, I really enjoyed setting up traps that hurt people in that my home. That would be the most upsetting and weird twist perhaps, in cinematic history. Perhaps I could keep doing that. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah, I like that. I'm just thinking about how all those traps could have been a lot deadlier. They were, like, just a degree away from murder. Yeah, man. Or, to be honest, if this was... It's really in, an upsetting in the, thought. In the Saw universe, Kevin McAllister actually murdered those people, like, again and again and again. The only thing that saved those two robbers was the fact they were in the Home Alone universe. Okay. This, this cartoon physics were still in That's play. how he remembers it. He's like, oh, it's kitschy and fun. It's like, no, like, uh, you were a child and you straight up murdered two dudes. Multiple people. And then you had a hallucination that you went to New York in the insane asylum. Yeah. And then, uh oh. An asylum outside of Chicago. There was no bird lady. It was just an actual bird. And when it, it pecked at you, you broke its neck, Kevin. <laughs> he watches Becker in, like, the... <laughs> and that's why the apprentice is the chick from Becker. Okay. It's all coming together. The unifying theory of Home Alone, the Saw universe. Uh, well, I definitely think we're going to probably do this one on the podcast. Oh, yes. We uh, totally are. Yeah. I think Kevin and Jess are going to... This is this is a good mine... This is a good mine movie, as we call it. There's a, there's a lot of stuff to talk about. A lot mm -hmm. of chit-chatting is going to happen on the podcast. But, uh, yeah, check out the movie preview review. It's our podcast where we invite on uh, artists, comedians, directors, filmmakers... Karate masters, all sorts of people, uh, Sasquatch hunters, uh, onto the show, and we watch movie previews and we make fun of them. Yes, we do. Um, but yeah, check out the link. Uh, check out press uh, press on Falcor there. Check out our show. Uh, like, subscribe, hit that bell if you want to get a, an email every time our faces hit the internet. Yeah, it's very important yeah. apparently. Yeah, it's our faces yeah. on the internet. Check it out. Not your walk talking like this. Uh. But yeah, uh, leave some comments below. Uh, what who you think uh, Jigsaw could or very well be, or what you Ooh, yeah, or maybe if our Kevin McAllister theory holds weight. But uh, yeah, I can't wait to do this one of the shows. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. Watch our other videos, guys. They're popping up it's right Comic Con there. stuff's coming out. Woo! It's Check lots it of out. fun. We'll, Woo! We'll see you guys next time. I'm bye. <laughs> yes. I'm I'm Jay, and I'm saying goodbye. Bye. I I'm bye. bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>